Hello, it's Sarah. Guys, it's been a minute. Anywho, I've been in the craft room. Um, this is so pretty when I look at it because I used glaze, no, gloss paints and like satin finish paints. So as I spin it around, I can see shine on here. But this is a class that is available for you guys to take um, on Creative Innovations Facebook page. Um, I was in admin over there for a minute and then I told Debbie Cole that I didn't want to do it so I stepped down. Um, I didn't feel like I had, um, I mean she's lovely. Anywho, long story short, um, I took this class over there and you just go into the their page creative innovations and i think it's under guides there's a you go through the different um headings i guess they are and i think it's called guides and it has there's so many neat classes over there for you guys but this class i ha i haven't painted and my nails are still atrocious but i was doing plant mom duties this morning so i have dirty i tried to clean them pretty good but Anywho, uh, Tammy Carmody, her name is, and I took this class, and it reminds me of Roz Stallcup, and in the class, she does mention that artist. There are a bunch of books, and I have some, that teach you how to do these freestyle. This is all, now, that being said, she did give you a pattern, but we didn't actually draw it onto the planter. Um, and I'm going to redo this. I, I bought myself a couple more of these um, terracotta pots. And I'm going to work a little smaller. I'm going to try not to bring my sponging. Now listen, anytime you take a class, it's never going to be your best work in the class. Because you're, and I mean, even though it's online and you can stop and start as you wish. You know, I'm a fast painter as it is. But, I mean, I love this. I think it turned out pretty good. But I'd like to do my roses a bit better. Like, so that they're not as, anyway... And I didn't have a really small filbert brush to get these like petal shapes. Anyway, <laughs> it was fun is the point. And it was so quick. Um, she also paints on glass a ton. Um, and so I happened to have this little jar. I believe it's from a jelly or some type of jelly. And she actually mentions that there's one that she uses from a yogurt. Um, called we anyway you can paint on glass with the she uses the folk art um, probably says it in here folk art multi-surface paints and they paint really well on glass so anyway I just wanted to direct you guys I'll put the link in the description over there to to just play and have some fun with your paints now I didn't use I don't think I had one of the colors that she has I don't tend to use folk art. Um, I have other brands. But I just grabbed some colors that looked decent and I just painted along with her. And I think it's so cute and there's a little bee on here. So anyway, like I said, I think I'm going to do a couple more. Also, um, I was at our local nursery. Uh, well, one of the local nurseries. Um, it's called Bob's Bob's. I don't know why I'm saying Bob. I'm not from um, <laughs> Boston. Anyway, I saw these pots. These are um, probably ceramic, glazed, you know. They've been hand-painted. And I think I can do just as good, if not better, on my pl my planter. So I figure I'm going to do... I'll probably paint up a couple, and then I'll, sh I'll do a, um, a little tutorial for you guys. Um, yeah, so... That's what I've been doing. Now, also, I'm going to make an ATC today, I think. <clears throat> you guys, ATCs are one of my first loves when it was, when I was crafting all the time. They're three and a half by two and a half little pieces of artwork. They're like the size of uh, playing cards and they're meant to be traded and Kiwi is calling me. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, you can make these pretty much anything goes when it comes to ATC's artist trading cards. So I've done lots of mixed media ones, adding micro beads. I just love to look back at some of these and see. Now, I don't even know. some of. No, I made this. I mean, you use brads. You can use anything. Um, I actually uh, probably 
I think I colored her with, um, the heck are they called? They're an alcohol ink pen, and I cannot think of the name of it. Copics, my Copics. Um, and then I cut her out, and I put, there's metal, like, findings on here, all types of stuff. Um, I prepped these. Probably I was going to do dotting on here. I don't know. Maybe I'll do some dot ones. I don't know that I've ever done those. These are, like, foil and, no, they're not foil, but they're, like, tissue paper that I put, oh, shiny stuff on. Anyway, but you can always just find a piece of, of, um, scrapbook paper duh this has a castle and a little bird and use that as your background I generally will use a piece of a manila folder you can get those at the dollar store and then just build from there um, these are some that I hand painted I just painted some pumpkins and some I think I have a, a tutorial on these and then I put glitter on the spider webs these were gifted to me from probably uh, yep Audrey um, I've got, and then there's kits that you can get at your ATC store. So you guys know if you've watched my channel, um, these are Zentangled, or actually these are called Zia. They're Zentangle Inspired Art because I actually drew on there and then I Zentangled inside the drawings. I just used a stamp set and stamped out a few things and made those into ATC, so anything goes. What I'm planning on doing is May is a very, I have Mother's Day, my anniversary, and my birthday, all in the month of May. So I have some cards, lots of cards that I got, and I think what I want to do, look at this one Maddie got me, but look how cute, because I've been doing so much with plants, but even this green for the corners, like, dude, this is so cute. This was an envelope for one of them, and I just peeled the inside butterflies out, took this apart. I can use this. I don't even need scrapbook paper. Look at the gold. I can use the gold on the inside of here. This is, I think, what a gift card was in, and I thought I would fussy cut out these flowers. So I'm going to go away. And I like the word bloom. I could just cut that out of here and put that on as a, a little bit of um, an, an addition. Um, so I'm going to cut some of these. And listen, I know these are lovely people. Oh, look at this one. Look at these butterflies. I mean, they're huge. I don't even think it would fit on a, an ATC. Um, but there are other bits. I don't want to show you the writing, but like that little bit, look at the card itself. The paper is so, this paper is just gorgeous. You know, these things, I mean, they're not cheap. And then generally, what do you do with them? You just have a stack of, uh, look at this embossing. Joe got me this for our anniversary probably. And look at that. I mean... I'm probably not going to keep them all, and especially not the envelopes. These are envelopes, so I'm going to go away, and I'll come back when I have a little bit more of the um, things I want to use to make one, and I'll make it with you. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I am so out of practice, you guys. I have my handy-dandy cutter. I used this part of this card, so I took this off of here. I love these little pots too. OMG, I'm going to have to use those for something. But I wanted to, it's because I used the green from the envelope. I ripped that apart and I had a piece of that green and I made, and then I went and found this old Fisker's punch. And it's like a grass punch. So, oh, and my background, I decided to use this card for my anniversary card right look how beautiful for a sky and then it had this embossing on there so I'm using this for the background so the background you know and then I put some grass I'm gonna put this so I basically just cut this two and a half inches and then punched it and made sure I could fit a little piece of the other green and I mean it doesn't match match like color wise um, 
but I think I want to do it. And then some of these little guys, I think I'm going to put layered up here. And I have the word Bloomin that I cut out of the gift card. This was the front of the gift card, these flowers. I fussy cut them out. And then on, I don't have to use, I could use one, one flower, I don't know. And then I cut out three butterflies from the another envelope. I also wanted to use this gold. I forgot about that. But here, this was from the inside of an envelope. I used that. And I think it was the inside of the green envelope. But I also have this gold. And I thought because of the gold embossing there, it would be kind of cute to do. But I could use a gold um, metallic pen. I have all types of, hmm, so much. I could put gold grass. I could put another level of grass. Or just put a, a cut. Uh, I could use, and then... I went and found this, which is just old trims that I have when I used to make ATCs. So it's very much different uh, laces and all types of stuff. I think there's even like this mesh. I like that mesh green. This is actually like a vine of leaves, so I could cut off those leaves because I do like to add different textures when I make ATCs. Then I was even thinking of popping stuff up. Oh man, it gets, it gets, it never ends. The possibilities, OMG, this is just too cute, right? To even just go down the side, it has a little shimmer to it too, isn't that so cute? So, I was using the gold, I wanted to use the gold paper. Let me just put that to bed. Because of the gold embossing on that paper, how would I use it? I don't think I'm going to use the paper because I feel like I can do it with um, a piece of gold um, ribbon or I don't see anything in here that is calling to me, but There was also gold on a different card. Hold on. I had this other, ah, right here. And it's not exactly gold. I don't want you to see what Matt wrote. But it's not exactly gold. It's more of a, I could cut that out. I brought this. Aha. This is what I'm going to do. This other punch. I'm going to take a piece of this gold. Let me just get the line I have to cut it with scissors to just get it to fit into my um, paper cutter. But I think I know what I'm doing. Um, so I just need it to be two and a half unless I want to go down the side too. But first, you know what I have to do is I have to use this because I am so out of practice with these. You should have seen I didn't film what I went through with my grass one, which, anyway, I managed to figure it out. But let's put this in here and see what happens. Oh boy, that was not nearly big enough. But if I go right here, then I'll be able to, okay. It's, you match up these little, like the, the little markings on here. It's so cool. You match them up, and then you'll be able to finish off. Okay, so I have that. Yeah, I think. I like it, I think. I would just do this two and a half and three and a half. So let me do this. Three, three and a half, approximately three and a half. Oh, excuse me. Three and a half. I did it a little over because it's not quite three and a half. I'm just going to do this whole side actually because then I'll be able to use 
more pieces of it. Because I think I, I like to go down one long side and one short side because it just um, frames it and and I gotta cook dinner. Isn't it always the way like you're like in the middle of a project? Dude, I had such a good day though. I am having such good days. Like, okay. So I think I just want to cut this to be like a strip like this. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just measuring it about, I guess that would be like a quarter inch. I have no idea. So now I have this gold. Oh, I think I'm going to have two and a half and three and a half. So let's do the three and a half first. Right here. Oh, that mashed it. Kind of broke it. I'll cut it by hand. Let me just cut it by hand. Two and a half would be right about her. And then three and a half. Oh boy, that's not going to be three and a half at all. It's three. Gosh darn it, Sarah. This is going to be good. But that's what happens when you're, you know, it's real time, baby. Real time. Oh, that looks good. I think I'll be able to do it. All right. So that might be all the, all the stuff I need, really. Now I have to start putting it together. And I might, I might use my ATG, ATG gun. Guys, do you guys know what this is? I don't even know if it works anymore. If my tape is still sticky. Anyway, I'm going to use that. Um, yeah, so I'm loving this idea. I could kind of, you know what I'm just going to do? I'm not going to do it um, with ink. I'm not going to ink anything. So let me just put this down. So we go ATG, oh baby, there's tape. Okay. And then you just line that up on the bottom. What key was all? It's a little sticky over. I'm going to cut it. And what? What are you talking about, Missy? Because I could bump this up. It would look cute, so I'm going to hold off on that. Now what flowers do I want to use? The yellow is so gorge. They're both striped pots. This is yellow. I already have, I think I'm going to use a big pink and a yellow. And then I have a purple butterfly. And I have, what other colors? Yellow butterfly and what? A blue. Well, he's going to blend in. But then I was thinking I would put, see, I think I'll use the purple butterfly. And then I'm going to put this down here. And what about, now I have to decide whether I want to shift them to one side or the other. That is a decision. And then this thing needs to be possibly used, right? Boom. That looks cute. OMG, that is popping and cute. I'll, I'll figure that out. And then does it need to go like that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I like it like this. And I can move that grass up. Put this here. Something like that. Um, this is so fun. I haven't done this in so long. Um, I have to glue something down, though, because it's a little um, too fudgy. So I think I already glued this down. I think I want to, I'll glue these down. And I also used to use this, and I don't even know. This was my favorite quick dry adhesive. I have no idea if it works at all. Um, I could use a glue stick, 
This was my go-to, and I have no clue. It's not opening. So, mm, we're literally using my teeth to see if it'll, um, nah, it's, it's, it's not coming down. But this was such a go-to for me. I'm, I know I'm zoomed in. All right, hold on. I can, I have so many adhesives, you guys, so I can use, um, I think I'm just going to use my Yoohoo glue stick for now. Let's see. This could be dried up, too. But, I mean, it's it still looks usable. So I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to put this on here. Yep, it's usable. It's blue. And I'm going to put this on the bottom. Nope. Right there. And then I'm going to put this. Hold on, because if I put this on top of that, where do I want this to come in? Got to check these things. You got to check it. So let's see if I need it or if I want to put this grass on top of it. I think I kind of want to put the grass on top of it. So I don't even need that little piece. So I'm going to glue stick him on. Glue sticks are cool. And I'm just button this. Oops, let's start at the top, shall we? I am butting it up against the edge so that you only see, you see a little bit of the, you know, the background. So that's there. And then I need to decide what side I want these on. Something's telling me this would be better. That my butterfly would show up better. Then I have Bloomin. Bloomin. I kind of like Bloomin instead of Bloom. Um, I could put a piece of paper behind this, like a, a little frame. You know, you can do that. That's an option. I could use green to pull green up there. Maybe not this green, maybe the, um, this green. You know, I think that might be pretty a good idea, Sarah. So basically, you make a little frame for it. I think I'm going to do that. So what I will do then is, and I might pop this up. If I could find my pop upable, my like 3M pop up stuff. So you just take this and you put it on, you place it on my green paper kind of with a little frame around it it's gonna make it bigger that's the only you have to decide if you if that's gonna be good or bad and then I just cut myself out that I like that because then look we could put it like that now where's my grass over here and that's going to go like that. Oh, it's looking cute. I think I like my purple butterfly instead of, because I also have a red flower. That is popping. The red flower is popping. I might have to use this. I'm being paged to eat. I'm going to answer him yes. Um, we are still doing Hello Fresh, you guys, and we love it. It's so convenient because all the ingredients are right there, and it's such an easy peasy. I'm just bending those a little. Um, way to go. Um, all right, hold on. I like the idea of overlapping. 
put blooming right there put my little butterfly down here but something needs to go over here oh the grass the grass this grass do 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 good I'm doing this okay so what am I going to do with you guys here I think ATG oh yes I think I think I think I don't know I like my ATG it's not too hard for me to oh I knew I was afraid that would happen <laughs> I pulled off the top of it all right all right so he's gonna need he's gonna need glue so we'll glue stick the stem and you know I have little um these and they're so like whatever but like little tweezer things and they're awesome with the hair but they're awesome for placing your stuff where you want it and stuff like that so I'm gonna place you right here little friend Kiwi don't get angry and then he is gonna go right there he's a little crooked but that's okay and then I might as well just do glue stick glue stick glue stick seems to be my friend today so we're gonna glue stick you glue stick you and try not to rip it okay then should I use my little tweezy where did my tweezy go here he is tweezy McTweezerson down a little all right sweet 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 now am I gonna pop this up I don't need to I think it'll stick I'm not gonna pop I'm not popping it I think it's layered anyway um ATG I'm ATG in this because I can go right down it Kiwi you love all this stuff I'm doing don't you ATGs are pretty sticky too they're pretty pretty reliable oh Jesus the dogs pretty reliable um, adhesion I would say then my bloomin I really like it now you know I didn't do any inking so nothing's really popping but I think it's gonna be good and then I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put oh I could put the yellow butterfly <gasps> please don't let me oh he's right here I think the yellow butterfly is gonna be popping it matches this maybe I don't want to dang it how come I can't make decisions I really like it all right I'm gonna ATG the bloomin I mean either way guys it's gonna work um, ATG the bloomin bloomin Ugh. and then <clears throat> my butterfly I could put two butterflies I don't know why I have an English accent all, all of a sudden I could just put a, blo a butterfly up there get off and butterfly down here why not I could do it I think I'm gonna do it all right and I'm gonna I don't know why I'm glue sticking that because it's a much thinner piece of paper and I feel like it might it it might suit it Jesus get off me I'm gonna make it touch the bloomin sign boom and then I'm gonna put this purple one maybe I'll put the purple one no 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 purple purple has to go there and I still have a fl couple flowers left I have plenty of butterflies so you can make a series so see I have these two I don't have a word so maybe I could find another word on another one of my cards and um make a series and then I told you I would probably mount that on there but this my friends is an ATC card it's a little piece of happiness that I made from leftover pieces of my cards my birthday cards my anniversary card and I didn't even put this on because you know sometimes enough is enough but you can add bling to this you know you can add whatever other 
thing you want to use. You know, like, look, here's another. You could put that going down. I think it looks good, so maybe this needs to go down. I can't find the end. Bloomin'. Are we blooming with this, or is it too much? Oh, MJ. It's so cute. I kind of like it. I don't know. I don't think it's going to fit in the ATC um, sleeve. But anyway, all right, I think I'm going to call this done. And I'm coming back, you guys. I'm coming back with a little tutorial to paint a planter, a terracotta pot. All right? Thanks for watching.